everyone, Segmentator here. Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. That's smash the wall. No. Why are you sending... Oh, you're not sending me that way. Cruz Alvage. Right. Right, let me just... Absolutely double checking that I it's square to do that. Excellent. I've got more of the blight. Some of the blight seems to have died off here. Hey, Fox. Alright, nothing here. Let's see what these guys want. This must be the salvagers I met in Baronlight. Looks like something's going on. What's this? Uh, okay, went to plain song like you asked and turned up the charm. So here's my report on the proposed trade deal with the Utaru won't work. First of all, these people dislike outsiders and deeply distrust anything related to the Kaja. Can't blame them there. But that means the alliance with Sun King Avard puts us at a serious disadvantage. I thought it'd be a smart it'd be smart to profile as Osarum as friendlier than the barbaric neighbours in the clan lands, but that didn't sit very well. I guess they have some kind of truce going on. That, the, uh, that we don't know about. Bottom line, the Otaru consider us less trustworthy than the Tanakh. Imagine that. Second, to put it bluntly, the Otaru are weird. <laughs> they're, extreme, they're extremely protective of anything that's considered alive, and that includes the local hops you want so badly. To them, it's not just a crop, it's sacred or something. The idea of putting some in our grubby little hands disgusted them. Third, and most importantly, they're starving. The blight is attacking their crops, and most of them won't eat meat. They wouldn't they, they wouldn't hand over what little grain they have for all the cogs in the claim. As they could probably tell as you can probably tell by now, the visit didn't go very well. Haven't seen that many frowns since my cousin ran off with a Kaja. I tried introducing them to Mainspring Ale to smooth things over, but they weren't interested. You know what they drink? Leaf infusions. Hey, they're tea drinkers. That's just dirt water. <laughs> Hello. If it isn't the savior of Meridian and of my very own operation. Laren, say hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. You know, if it weren't for this one, I probably wouldn't be standing here right now. Uh, nasty business, what the Tanakh did back at the embassy. But everyone in Baron Light is thankful you drove them off. So this is your salvage operation? You won't find a better place to trade machine parts in the West. And soon we'll be trading in more than just that. For too long the West has been, well, forbidden. Dangerous. But what if I told you we could make an armor so tough 
so infallible that you'd never have to worry about survival out here again. I'd be curious to take a look at it. Of course you would. <laughs> and that's why I've asked my most talented salvagers to find what they need to make that armor. Each of them will present their work to me. The best protection will go on sale to hunters, just like you. Lucky me. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to back in Chain Scrape. Larand can take care of you while I'm gone. Can't wait to see what you come up with, my boy. Leave it to me. It'll blow all the others out of the forge. You have got to help me. <laughs> what are you talking about? The armor. I made a dozen versions of it. But none of them were good enough. And there are other crews further west. If they make better armor than mine, I can kiss that keg full of shards goodbye. So you get a prize if Karif picks your armor? A big one. And I finally have the perfect design. I just need the right parts, and fast. So maybe you'd be willing to pick up a contract and get them for me? What would I be looking for? Shell walker containers. Their plating's made to withstand a lot of damage. It'll make the perfect armor. I know it. I think I can handle that. Ah, oh, thank the forge. All right. We scouted out a herd near here. Here's the contract. It'll tell you everything you need to know. You take the machines down. My people will pick up the containers. I'll give this a closer look later. Thanks. Counting on you, Aloy. All right. What's this one? Fulfill Lerner's contract. Convoy ambush. Need salvage okay, I've done that one. Joe Walker crate. I'm ambushing a nearby convoy should provide his team with what they need. Find more details in the data point copy of contract. Okay. Uh, contract. The following contract as bestowed by Salvage hereby engages the recipient hunter to provide the following services. The hunter will eliminate at least one shell walker from the designated machine convoy to provide the salvages access to a shell walker crate. Any other salvage can be gathered as payment for services rendered. A campsite campsite and traps have been provided at the marked passage which is regularly visited by the convoy the hunter understands that accepting this contract involves inherent risks including physical and or psychological injury pain suffering disfigurement temporary or permanent paralysis and or death but please don't die i really need these parts <laughs> mm. i'm not i'm not certain uh that would be a, considered a legally binding contract, but hey, what do I know? Oh, those are my strike pieces. Cool. And I have some skill points. Perfect. What's this? Silent Strike. Recover health when using Silent Strike. That might be a good one. Smoke bomb capacity. Uh, we'll go with Silent Strike. Gathering up hit, uh, health after that would be a good idea. What's this? Spike trap. Launch a spike that becomes a trap on impact with the, with the environment. Arms up sh after sh a short delay. Uses your currently selected spike type and depletes a medium amount of weapon stamina. Okay, what's this? Launch a powerful long range spike that explodes on impact or approximately to a target. Uses up to four spikes of your current selected type and depletes a large amount of weapon stamina. Right. And we're back over here. What were you? Yep. What's this one? A journal full of precise, careful glyphs. We took payment for the whole 
I got more in one sale than in the last four delves combined, and the machines are endless. For every one we turn to scrap, another springs up in its place. No worries about us running short of salvage. Uh, and thank the fires of the forge for that. I was getting too stiff for delving, the climbs, the crouching, the crowbarring. Oh, the crowbarring, yep. Even with the knee armor I invented, it was all too much for, the, for these old bones. Not to mention the competition ever since those damn shadow cards have found weapons in the ruins. Every bandit and ruffian seems to think they'll find something that'll make them invincible. If a fall or a mistake with a machine doesn't kill you, those looters will. The ruins used to be a, used to be quiet and empty, special places. Now people treat them like storehouses. I guess the times have just moved past me. So I put my shards into this scrap camp. There will always be younger hunters, but the skills I got on the delve have taught me to how to carve up machines in a way that will get the best price. To keep me, should keep my belly full until it's time to head back to the claim and retire. Fair enough. Weber techniques are unique, powerful attacks that offer exceptional new strategies in combat. Unlock techniques are available for all weapons in their class. Tap or hold R1 while aiming to use your selected technique. Using a weapon technique depletes your weapon stamina, which regenerates over time. Switch between available weapon techniques for your current weapon by opening your weapon wheel. Okay. You don't have any. Just propelled spike. I see. Alright. Bristlebacks search uh, search north of Baron Light, the rebel camp. The rebel camp over there. Tall neck, yes. Convoy ambush. One of the Baron main quest death door. Go to the coordinates recovered from the spire. Bristleback shadow in the west. Pied out. All right. Nothing there. Ah, my noble steed. Better check it out. Ah, mm. that old tree finally decided to fall. Before I can look around, 
Yep. So only those three here? Anyone else? There's definitely someone else around here, but... I don't know where they are. Somebody attacking my... Attacking my There we go. A lot of pens, not that many machines. Where'd they all go? Better check in that cave. Yeah, hold on, let me collect all this lot up. To the victor the spoils after all. Oh, that's a rock. Repair damage mount, approach it, old triangle. Is he still there or is he dead? A diver can make use of this. An 
An ammo that deals purge water damage now available in inventory. Use your focus to scan enemies and see if they are weak to purge water. Hitting them with the purge water will build up to the drenched state. Once in this state, the elemental attacks are disabled and their resistance to all elemental damage and states is reduced. Shoot purge water canisters with purge water arrows to detonate them and trigger a large elemental explosion. Cool. I'm currently using my one's better. Skills and the point right. Oh, Valor Surge, you have unlocked your first Valor Surge. Hold square to equip it. Right, what does that do? Elemental Fury. That sounds cool. Drawbridge. Might be my way across. Better surges are extremely powerful, rare abilities that can instantly Turn the tide in off a fight. Burn up your Valor Surge Bar and unleash its ultimate power. Earn Valor through tactical gameplay and when a segment of the Valor Surge Bar is full, activate the Valor Surge by opening Weapon Wheel and tapping R1. Oh, look at you. All right. I control the bridge. I should take a look. That's one half of the bridge. I had to drop the other side. Looks like there are a couple of weak points. For the ropes attached to the bridge. There we go. Bridge is down. Right, what's this? Good evening, all. Bristleback. It looks like it fell into a tunnel. So the rebels were keeping Bristlebacks here. The machines fell into the tunnel, which must have collapsed as they ran further in. What if Olven's explosives created the sinkhole? I should head back to Chainscrape to let Javad know. Um, you can't just show me a cave and not expect me not to explore it. Alright, uh, doesn't look like there was much to explore, but worth doing anyway.
All right, cool. We're good. I am definitely going to need my fast travel pack again. Alright, we'll be right back as soon as I get there. Alright, here we are. I've got a new... New steed. Right, you right there. I've gone to the wrong place. Damn it. Never mind. Alright, back in a bit. Okay, I'm double the idiot I thought I was. This was the right place I need to go to. I just selected the wrong uh, wave point. Do we want to talk to about the cave? Is in here. Out the way. So, you've returned from the west. Any luck? The bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakh rebels on the other side of the mountains. Alvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the bristlebacks, it's Alvin. Radiant beams of the sun and all this time he was pointing the finger at us <clears throat> bring Olvent here Petra too oh shit <laughs> oh hello Mr. D Mr. Appear out of nowhere. Summoned like a blasted ale winch. You best be meaning to put pen to parch. What? Why is she here? I live here too, lug nut. <laughs> <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the savior, the sun has shown the truth on the Bristleback incursion. Tanakh the rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja... I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvent. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the Bristlebacks caused, all of it. My dear Magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. You skirted the laws of the Sundom Ulvent. All for a few extra shards. 
And you almost drowned your other miners. And sent that oversized tool over there to intimidate a bunch of refugees. Uh, I... I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja scheme. Certainly. We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. The bristlebacks, the mine, the refugees. Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that... That's not necessary, is it? What if I just return to the claim? <laughs> oh, well, that would save the Crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like nope, this... No, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. You think she can run this scorched-out forge dump? Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out! Oh, don't want you! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Me. Mud looks good on you, Alvind. <sighs> As the sun burns away, Shadow. Mm. Thank you for that, Aloy. Oh, he had it coming. Here, please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. And I believe we have some matters to discuss. Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. Hey! Ain't no champion. Chain scrape will be better off with Petra in charge. I agree. All right, two more. You're up to six. Why are you up to six? Or is it because of the Valor thing? That might be it. Not enough skill points? Fair enough. Ooh. I can't do anything with that yet. And overall, it looks... Mm, I'll keep my current one, I think. Notebook, anything interesting in here? Uh, just the tutorials. Alright, now with that all sorted, I'm going to end this episode here, end it on a high note. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Horizon Forbidden West, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.